Welcome to this Draw My Life about the Russian sleep experiment. Knowledge can be powerful. It always has been an actual rivalry between the main world powers for achieving new scientific progress. However, they usually use shady methods to finally defeat the enemy. The old Soviet Union was one of the countries that invested more money in science. Some of their experiments have been revealed in the last decades, but some others are still in the dark. We are going to talk about one of them, the Russian sleep experiment. In the late 40s, at the beginning of the Cold War, the Soviet Union decided to study if human beings could live without sleeping. They used an experimental stimulant gas that was supposed to keep people awake. It was the main ingredient of this experiment. The researchers selected a group of five political prisoners. They had been promised they would be freed if they submitted to the test and didn't sleep for 30 days. They had to be in a chamber where the researchers could monitor them and see their reactions, so they could release the right amount of gas to keep them awake. The chamber was stocked with coats, running water, food and a toilet. There were also several microphones to monitor the conversations between the subjects. Everything was fine for the first five days. After that, they started to show the first symptoms of insomnia. It was noted that they started to talk about increasingly traumatic incidents in their past, and they started to demonstrate severe paranoia. They stopped talking to each other and began alternately whispering to the microphones and one-way mirrored portholes. They all seemed to think they could win the trust of the experimenters this way. After nine days, the first of them started screaming. When he couldn't yell anymore, the researchers postulated that he had physically torn his vocal cords. The second of the captives also started to scream. In the meantime, the non-screaming captives took the books apart, smeared page after page with their own feces and passed them all over the wall. The screaming suddenly stopped. The researchers did not hear anything else in the following three days. At the end of the second week, the researchers announced that they were going to get in the chamber and if they followed the orders, one of them would be released. A calm voice responded, we no longer want to be freed. On the 15th day, the chamber was opened and soldiers got inside to check that the prisoners were still alive. What they saw was traumatizing. Four of the subjects were screaming and the other one was dead. There were chunks of meat from the dead subject stuffed into the drain blocking it and allowing the water to accumulate on the floor. The prisoners that were still alive looked like zombies. All four surviving subjects had large portions of muscle and skin torn away from the bodies. The subjects put up a fierce fight in the process of being removed from the chamber. They begged for the gas to be turned back on. One of the subjects was gravely injured. The medical researchers attempted to sedate him. He was injected with more than 10 times a human dose for morphine and died. The one whose vocal cords were destroyed shaked his head in disapproval when the doctors were going to sedate him. When the surgery ended, he asked for a piece of paper and wrote a note to the surgeon, keep cutting. The other two subjects were given the same surgery. The moment they could speak, they were again asking for the stimulant gas. The researchers asked why they had injured themselves, and the response was, I must remain awake. All three subjects' restraints were reinforced and they were placed back into a chamber, awaiting determination as to what should be done with them. The researchers considered euthanizing the subjects, but the soldiers wanted to see what would happen if they were put back in the gas. To everyone's surprise, all three stopped struggling the moment the gas was released again. It looked like they were suffering brain dead on and off. One of them couldn't resist anymore. He closed his eyes and died. Three researchers got in the chamber. One of them drew his gun and shot the commander and the mute subject. He pointed his gun at the remaining subject and asked, what are you? The subject said, have you forgotten so easily? We are you, the madness that lurks within you all, begging to be free at every moment in your deepest animal mind. We are what you hide from in your beds every night. We are what you sedate into silence and paralysis when you go to the nocturnal heaven. The researcher shot the subject and he weakly said, nearly free. The Russian sleep experiment went viral on the internet. Everyone thought it was real, but the author of the story denied it. However, we will never know what kind of experiments the Soviet Union carried out. If you liked the Russian sleep experiment video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Leave us in the comment section down below what would you like to see next time. See you on the next video!